everybody, I'm Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today I'm going to show you what I'm using for my 2022 journal and I thought it would be super fun to pull off some of this eye candy from my shelves and go through uh, the different options of things that you can use for journals and see um, if you discover something that makes your heart sing. So if that sounds like fun, then stick around. <music> Okay guys, I don't know what possessed me, but I pulled these off my shelves because I think it goes to show that there's a good variety of things that you can do when you journal. If you want to start journaling, your journey is going to start somewhere and nine times out of ten, I would say it's going to end somewhere completely different. And there really is no end. It's ever changing and it really is dependent on your needs at any given time, which um, I will try and show you. I hope that this isn't going to be too long because I got to get ready for work. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys where I started. Um, this was the first journal that I ever um, made. And I was inspired by Allie Brown to start journaling. And this was just a, um, she's on YouTube. This was just a standard size traveler's notebook insert that I got from Michaels. And I painted on the cover and I put some magazine um, on it. And as you can see, it's, um, it's very uh, kind of similar to the sort of journaling that I do now, except for I used to do a lot more um, art journaling. Well, I tried in the beginning. Oh, I love that picture. And, uh, but it's quotes and pictures and painting and sprocket pictures. Um, a lot of still of hasn't changed, but um, just the format, you know, has changed a little bit, but kind of similar. So this was in 2016. And uh, this was how I got into journaling. And I just, uh, I love it. So um, I, I hope that you see that it can start in anything. It can be a composition notebook from the Dollar Tree or Walmart. It doesn't have to be anything um, in particular. It doesn't have to be Hobonichi or Stalogy or anything. Um, so from this, uh, I did a couple of these and then I started, um, I made some of my own notebooks in like a slightly different size. Um, there's like journals, uh, journal with me's on most of these journals, I would say, if not all of them. So look at that. Look at my boy. Um, so this was just one that I made um, myself. Um, then I think I tried doing a magazine journal. So this was a flow or a breathe. I can't remember. And I turned it into a magazine journal by painting over the parts of the magazine, like writing and stuff that I didn't want. And then collaging, uh, journaling in it, saving pieces of pages that I did like, um, this was the solar eclipse in 2017, uh, and I just loved it. I picked the, the Flow um, magazine because there were so many images in it that I did love um, that I wanted to, to keep them. So that was that, <clears throat> and uh, that was really fun. I loved doing that. Uh, then I got this notebook from Michaels. It's like a hardbound kind of thing. And it was full of a bunch of different types of, of pages, like photo book pages, this like type of paper, um, like butcher papery looking stuff. I decorated the cover with magazine collage um, and it had these plastic kind of sheets. Um, I did stamping on it. It had these like thick black pieces with, with um, little pockets and I collaged and painted, um, did some art journaling. I cut apart the photo pockets. So um, there's just a whole bunch of, of random stuff. This probably came out of a pocket somewhere. Uh, which pocket though? <laughs> 
This is the downside of having so many pockets in your journal. Is there one? I'm not sure. But I don't know. I know it came from somewhere over here. But um, this is what that looked like. And there's little hidden tuck spots, packaging. This was a super fun one. Oh, yeah. So I loved this. And I didn't use all of the paper in it. I ended up ripping out some of the paper and um, just using it as like extra journaling paper in another notebook just because I got tired of that and I wanted to change. You'll see that theme. <laughs> I get bored and then I change. And that's the thing that I said about making it a journey is it's not going to stay consistent. Um, and when you're bored, change it because you're not going to want to journal and be creative. It's not going to inspire you um, if you don't like it. If you don't feel inspired I love this little journal I made this I know there's a bunch of journal with me's on this one um, let's see I used to do a lot more like art journaling I feel like and that's something I want to get back into just with images that inspired me that I loved um, so that was a little um, homemade one um, then what? Oh, this might have been the second journal that I did. I think I went from that traveler's notebook to this, which was kind of like what I did this last summer. This was a book that I tore the guts out of. Um, I covered it in fabric and I sewed in signatures. So this was, um, and then this is paint and collage. Let's see. There's, there's a lot of stuff in this. This was one of my favorite journals, I think, um, when I first had gotten into it. And I used a bunch of different types of things. And um, I would get a lot of things from um, Goodwill, like um, pieces of, of patterns and doilies and stuff like that. And um, oh, I love this one. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, and I love flipping through them because there's so many hidden things like just, you know, like here. Here's a little hidden note that I wrote on the back of. So um, they're just so fun to go back and look at, you guys. I just love them. So um, this was a lot of fun and I felt really inspired in this. Love that. Um, and a lot of it is art journaling too. Like this is an art journaling page. I love that. And I like to do quotes on my art journaling pages. Um, there's some texture paste in there. I love that. Oh, this is making me want to art journal again. Cool. That was the end of that journal. Um, and then see very similar kind of to what I tried to do last summer is I re like repurposed a book um, into a journal and there's still a bunch of pages in it. I just um, kind of, it wasn't that I got bored. I think it was because it wasn't predated. I just wasn't getting in it enough because I, I thought that I would uh, more, but without the dates to kind of keep me coming back, I kind of just let it lapse. But I mean, I will fill these pages for sure eventually. And then um, before that, you know, I've done um, a few A5 Hobonichi Cousins. Um, and there's so many journal with me's on these. I've done a couple A6s filled those puppies up. This is just half of the year. I ripped apart an A6 uh, Hobonichi and made it into an Avec. <laughs> There's also a video on that. <laughs> Beware, it might give you a heart attack. I literally rip it in half. Um, so the other half is sitting on my shelf. And uh, like I said, there's another A5 over there. There's another... Uh, there's some more magazine journals over there and some more homemade journals. It's been a ride, you guys. It really has. And um, I even, for a short time... This was, all of this was too overwhelming, and I just had this laying around that I had used as a planner, and then I had started using another planner, so I decided to give this a shot as a journal. 
So I did that for a couple weeks during 2020. Um, and I loved that. Like during, you know, while it lasted, it was perfect. And that was really fun. Really fun. So that's cool. Um, somebody left a comment. They were like, I see... I, I don't know what size you use because I see journal with me is in every size. I was like, cause I've used everything. <laughs> I've used every size and my dream would be to have a full year in, you know, a complete notebook, but sometimes that just isn't life and you know, life happens and you get busy and you get uninspired. So you got to change it up. Don't try and beat your head against the wall to do something that's not working for you. Um, I guess that was my goal with showing you all of these journals was to do what makes you happy and what makes you feel inspired. Okay, that was my journaling TED Talk. I'm just getting these out of the way and then I'm going to show you what I'm using for 2022. Oh god, I'm knocking over my garden. Jeez Louise. Um, this is what I am journaling in right now. Um, I had bought this to be... A planner for this year um, which you guys have seen in a video uh, and I attempted to use it um, as such and it just never worked out that way so I went back and um, I could never pick this over my weeks so I went back and put in some pictures and then I decided I missed the dated pages so I went back to this and just picked it up as a journal and this is where we've been since maybe the end of September I think and that brings us up to you know Thanksgiving and this was sent to me by my friend Jamie I love it um, so like this is all tabbed and everything as a planner but um, I mean I keep my notebooks so I think I, I don't care you know I'll, I'll be able to see the journey that it went through um, it doesn't make the pages or the things written on them any less special that it's not all the same thing to me anyways. So that's that. And so for 2020, this feels so anticlimactic after all of those, <laughs> but I decided to use, um, an A5 Stalogy. I have used, um, the A5 Hobonichi Cousin Avec several times. And I love that size. Um, I love that I can write. I have big handwriting. So I can write bigger. And I can also collage. And also have room for stickers. So that's a great size. Um, but sometimes I get overwhelmed. And then I've switched. And I've went smaller. But now the whole cycle is completing itself. And I want to go back to an A5. Um, I loved the Hobonichi releases this year, but I just didn't want to buy another cousin and have all of those weekly spreads go to waste because I, it's, mine is just daily journaling and my intention to fill those weeks with quotes and, you know, pictures that I loved, it just never went to fruition because I was busy just keeping up with daily stuff. So I decided that a half year stalogy was pretty much like an awesome compromise because it it's like the half year it's like an avec um and it's got similar paper to a hobonichi it's not exactly the same but it's that kind of finish paper um and i thought it would be absolutely perfect so i just got that on amazon i can link it below if i can find one the cover to this is it was originally this blue color and this cover uh, these charms uh, were gifts from friends and subscribers. Um, so they're, everything on here is just special to me, and that's what I love about it. Um, I The cover was um, I got on Amazon. It's just a clear cover, and they're supposed to, to cover the A5 um, Midori notebooks, and you can get a two-pack for like eight bucks or something of these clear covers. And I've also bought a clear cover in an A5 size for uh, from Lauren Phelps Designs. Um, and I just, I, I still have this one on. So um, I poked a hole in it myself and I bought, a, I have elastic. So I just made it into a, a thing like this because when I fill mine, then they get kind of chunky. And I like to be able to have a little closure around them sometimes. 
Um, this bookmark was from, uh, I showed it in a haul a couple weeks ago. I got it from Tokyo Pen Shop and it's Midori brand and it's like um, a cat and it sticks, it's stuck on this cover and then it's got a little ribbon that will keep my place and it's got a little embroidered moon on the bottom. I loved that and uh, I hadn't when I sat down one day and started collaging on this, I had no plan whatsoever. Like there was no, uh, there was no like vision in my mind. I just had a bunch of magazine images and I kind of just started playing around and I came up with this like kind of like moon and then these stars over here. And then I loved this girl. She was hanging on to something else originally. Oh, there's a piece of washi tape on there. Um, but I just made her hanging on to flowers, like floating through space. I don't know why. I just thought it was really fun. And uh, that was the thing with it is I just had a lot of fun doing it. So um, I, I didn't make it too serious, you know. Uh, where is that piece of, there's like a stray piece of washi tape in my, on the cover. Um, probably because my desk is such a mess. Uh, and then these are from my Antiquarian sticker book. This is collage. Um, this girl was from an ad, like a Garnier ad or something. I don't know. I just loved her. She was originally holding on to like balloons or I can't even remember. But um, I love how she's like in a garden and then holding on to these flowers and floating through space. I just, I don't know. I loved it. And uh, this is a die cut sticker that um I um bought the file from uh an Etsy shop um I'm blanking on the name right now but um I printed it out on clear sticker paper so I put that in there and um this is stuck to the cover. This is just some sticky notes. I don't know why. I don't need sticky notes in here but I just <laughs> I don't know why I just put them in there. Um, you can never go wrong with a sticky note. Um, and then the other day, and I had only um, originally decorated the cover. Sorry, I'm, I'm really making a meal out of this. Um, when I s sat down, I just originally had worked on the cover um, and I hadn't done anything to the back. And then I came back another day and had some more time, so I stuck some more random stuff on here. Oh, here's another piece of random washi tape. Um, and yeah, just stuck some more, some more collage on here. Um, flowers, and this was uh, a sun. And I made the other half. This was a, a sticker flower, a flower sticker, sorry. Um, more kind of stars, um, this girl, like looking out this window, this was all collage and then more stars and flowers. And then this, um, this writing was in a magazine or a book. I can't remember where it was, but I just, it struck me and I loved it. So I, uh, put that in here. Um, and that's it. And there's my initial, that was a sticker from the Antiquarian sticker book. So that's uh, basically the cover. Um, and I will show you what I did to the inside. I ended up, let me see if you're still in frame. I ended up putting a little washi tape dashboard um, on here, just using a bunch of uh, different, like kind of vintage -y floral washi tapes that I really love. And um, I think it turned out so pretty. Um, that was on this side. This is just a little holographic doily thing, that um, paper doily that a friend sent me. Um, this was, a lot of this was decoration from my rings planner setup. Um, I pulled out a lot of it to, to set up my planner for 2022 my Wonderland B6, and then a lot of it I put in here too because I just loved the deco in that and I I didn't want it to be sitting in my drawer anymore. So this is from that and I just turned it into a little tip-in. Um, I stuck a clear pocket on there and this was um, 
This is a little card somebody sent me from Simply Gilded, and it was in my ring setup. A sticker somebody sent me. Uh, this is just a little Willa Wallaco sticker die cut. This uh, vellum is from Willa Wallaco, I believe, and I just glued it in here because I thought it was super cute. And um, I put in a ton of tabs because I love tabs, like tabs for no reason. Um, the back is another washi dashboard. Um, I stuck in this My Happy Place card. You can see it's three hole punched because it was in my ring setup. Um, I stuck in a sticky pocket that was in my ring setup. This one is from uh, Rose Color Days. This is a little card that I cut down from Sugar and Sloth Tiny Party Box, and I loved it. Too awesome for your negativity. So I stuck that in there. Um, like I said, I fill it with things that make me smile, that make me happy, and that's all I do. Um, this is a sticker die cut from Sugar and Sloth Tiny Party Box. Uh, not a baller, just a ball. <laughs> and he's eating a sandwich. I love that. These uh, stickers are also from Sugar and Sloth Tiny Party Box. Um, they're like adulting stickers. So I tip that in there. Um, this is a doodle, um, drawing that I did on Procreate and, um, it's, I put it up in my Greedy Weasel Facebook group on that drive. Um, that's where if you want to support my channel with a 99 cents a month, um, membership, you get access to the Google drive with all of my doodles that you can print out, um, on your printer or make stickers out of if you have a machine, um, and you use them wherever you want. And somebody asked, um, for a planner cart. And so I did this planner cart and I love it. Uh, I just, I'm obsessed. So um, I stuck a big one of that in there and then some cat washi tape and then the Maker Doer Mama. That's the Etsy shop. That's another one of her um, die cuts that I bought the printable uh, file for. Um, this is something I made <laughs> on Procreate. Um, my, I printed these on clear sticker paper. Um, my, the ink color ink in my printer was running low so it didn't kind of come out on here but um this these were stickers um die cuts sent from a friend um stickers sent from friends but they all mean something to me so I love that um so that was kind of this front page and it's got this like kind of cardboardy front page that I just decorated both sides of it um, this was a sticky note in Happy Mail that someone sent me, um, and I just thought she was so cute. And a sticker that was in Happy Mail. Um, this postcard was sent to me from my friend in the Netherlands, and she um, painted it with all of her beautiful shimmery watercolors, and I just love it. It reminds me to be myself. Um, this was uh, something somebody sent me. This is a sticker from Target Dollar Spot. And then this was a postcard that somebody sent me and I just loved it. So I tipped that in. And this is another um, file that I had bought from Maker Do or Mama. <laughs> so true. <laughs> I'm not a mean person, it's just my face. Um, and then it starts, which I love because I didn't need all of those extra pages in the cousin. So I'm gonna be able to make this so thick. <laughs> because there's no extra, you know, pages that I need to worry about. So I did go through this um, while I was watching TV and I dated it um, because I liked the idea of having it predated like my Hobonichi Cousins. Um, so I used the Agenda 52 from the Paper Studio it is this numbers and days foiled 30 sheets. And it is absolutely jam packed full of days of the week, numbers, and a couple, there's some months in there too. And there's a zillion. So I used that to go through and predate um, all the way through this notebook. So it starts on Saturday, January 1st. 
And at the beginning of the month, I put a month um, sticker. Like here is where March starts. So I put a March sticker and I just continue dating it. I moved the stickers around where the dates are so that it wouldn't be super bulky, like right up here in the top corner. Like I, you know, move them from this corner to this corner to that corner and inside corner. So it would kind of even out. Um, and I liked mixing them up because you know that how I love just colors and randomness. So um, all of them are, I mixed up the different like fonts and numbers and colors to try and make it as colorful uh, as I could and fun because that's what I like. Uh, we, you know, we all have different, you do what you want to do, you know. Um, and then I covered, I wrapped washi around the beginning page of each month. Um, and then I made a little washi tab at the top of the beginning page of each month. Um, which matches the edge of the washi. Like this is the beginning of February. I used this washi and then there's a tab at the top. Um, and let's see. I also put, where is the tab? Did I miss a tab? I think one of my tabs fell out. I know I had a tab on February. The question is, where has it gone? Because some of them weren't sticking very well. Um, but I also tabbed the beginning of each month. So um, just because, you know, a washi tab wasn't enough. I love things that stick out the sides. So um, these were just tabs that I had. I think they were also from a, an Agenda 52 thing from Hobby Lobby. And nothing coordinates. It's all just random colors and random, you know, <laughs> random. And that's what I love about it. So it actually goes through, um, let's see, I dated it. I was gonna stop in June. Um, because then I was going to do the second half in another notebook, but I actually, there was like a couple pages left. So I just went ahead and started July and I dated it through Monday, July 11th. And that is the end of the book. So it's all journal pages and uh, I pretty much like am in love with that idea. So that's all it is, guys. And um, if I have extra time, I do plan on watercoloring on some of the pages. Um, I just love having stuff in here already waiting for me to journal. Um, I used to do that and have videos in my A6 where it would be like preparing my January journal pages. And I would go through and stick washi on the pages and some stickers and I would watercolor. Um, just because some people, it's intimidating to be faced with a blank page. So if you come in and you've already got something on it, sometimes it already gets the ball rolling about, about things you wanna journal about. So um, I plan on hopefully getting time to do that. I don't know how the Stalogy will do with watercolor. So I am excited to um, play around with that and see how that goes. Um, and this is just a tab that says journal, just because I liked it. Uh, so you guys, that that's it. I, I hope it's not as um, anticlimactic as I feel like it is. Um, it's been a long, a long journey uh, of different types of journals. And I'm not saying that I'll even stick with this one because we all know me. Um, but I'm, I'm really excited about it. And uh, I hope with this video that you just realize that you can really do anything. Anything that makes you feel inspired to... Um, Write down your thoughts and to capture memories is the right thing. There is no right answer or wrong answer. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this notebook. I will link the things that I can find on Amazon in my description box. If you have any questions or comments or just want to say hi, please do that and leave me a comment. Um, and if you're interested in joining the Greedy Weasels, there's a link in the description box below. So I can't thank you guys enough for being here and I will see you again soon. Bye.